All right, growing pumpkins weighing more than 1,000 pounds is no small feat. As Fox's Eric Peterson tells us, growers say it's all in the seeds, which are scientifically selected. These are nice size. When it comes to growing pumpkins at Hillside Apples near Casco, Bill Raithley has about 25 years of experience. But a few seasons ago, he was introduced to a new pastime. We started these pumpkin plants in early April, uh, got them pollinated in the mid, mid to late June, uh, and they've been growing ever since. They are giant pumpkins. Raithley says it begins with scientifically selected seeds. I have the genetic history on these. I know what... what pumpkin they came from. He says the plants are given plenty of fertilizer and water, lots of water. We start putting on at least 50 gallons of water per day per plant, uh, some, somewhere 50 to 100 gallons a day. He says each pumpkin needs a 30 by 40 foot plot to grow. For two weeks it was putting on over 40 pounds per day. In two weeks this one put on over 600 pounds. The giant is one of two displayed at Hillside Apples. It's become a popular attraction for many, including the Robinson family from Kiwani. People driving by, I mean, obviously they're going to see the big pumpkins right away, so it's going to bring them in. But I definitely, you know, people should come out and check it out. And why do people like the giant pumpkins? Uh, because they're so different and so amazing. They're, they're just so big, and I don't know how they do it. Meanwhile, this gourd, which is estimated to weigh as much as 1,800 pounds, waits for the Saturday weigh-in at the Giant Pumpkin Fest in Michigan. I think this one could have been a couple hundred pounds heavier uh, if I'd have done some things differently, but uh, it's live and learn, and it's addicting. It's kind of like, you know, you just it's, it's exciting to get up in the morning and see, see what's going on in the pumpkin patch every day. So just, just something gets you out of bed in the morning. In Kiwani County, Eric Peterson, Fox News.